Okay, so let's start off by going to manage FBA shipments right under the inventory tab. You'll click manage FBA shipments and right here's your shipping queue where you could see your current shipments. It's Amazon shipment ID. This is the name that you gave it right here. Uh, the date it was created on, the last update, how many SKUs you're shipping, how many total products are being shipped. So SKUs times the unit of each SKU, and then how many have been received, its destination, and the status. So the different statuses you can have is receiving, closed, canceled, ready to ship, working and in transit so what working is is essentially you're prepping those goods you're palletizing or putting them in boxes that's the working status once you hit complete shipment which we're going to go through and i'll show you what that looks like that changes the status to in transit it might happen right away it might happen shortly after then once your goods for that shipment are begin to be received, meaning the first product from that uh, shipment gets scanned in or the first box gets scanned in, the status changes to receiving. And after the reconciliation period, um, and it's a, about a 90 day period. So after about 90 days of Amazon checking in your products, ensuring that everything is correct on their end, they will then close that shipment and the status changes to close. Also, if you decide to delete a shipment, like I did here, I was just testing out a feature before I jumped on this recording, uh, it would show as canceled. The status shows as canceled. Over here, you have your shipping plans. These aren't approved shipments yet. These are your shipping plans, what you plan to ship to Amazon. Then typically Amazon will split this shipping plan into one, two, three, sometimes even four different fulfillment centers that you're going to need to ship to. If you rather have these products sent uh, to a limited amount of fulfillment centers, what you would want to do is in your settings, set up the uh, placement services. So let me show you what that would look like. If you go to your settings here, fulfillment by Amazon, and right down here, the inventory placement option. So if you were to go and change it by clicking the edit button here in your inbound settings, and you clicked inventory placement service, all quantities of a single seller SKU will be assigned to a single fulfillment center. That way it doesn't get split. Another way of having your cases not split is if you go with the case packed option, which we're also going to be covering. However, just to let you know, with the inventory placement service, there is a per unit service fee which applies. And that service fee, I believe, here we go, it is 30 cents for one pound or less, 40 cents for one to two pounds, 40 cents plus 10 cents for each additional pound above the first two pounds. And then here you have it for oversize, which is $1.30 for five pounds or less, and then $1.30 plus 20 cents per pound above the first five pounds. So after you do a few shipments and you find that, you know what, it might be beneficial, more efficient, and more cost saving for you to pay this FBA inventory placement fee, this might be the option that you choose. Back to the shipping queue. And the other difference between a shipping plan and a shipment is that shipping plans you could remove SKUs, ASINs from, you could change the quantities however you see fit. Uh, there might be some COVID limit restrictions, however, so you'll have to be aware of that and you might need to change your quantities based on those restrictions, the amount that they're allowing you to send versus once you confirm a shipping plan and it gets split, the shipment can only be changed for a SKU can only be changed by 5% or six units, whichever is greater. So if you were sending 100 of an ASIN, you would be able to raise it to 106 or lower to 94. If you were sending 200 of that ASIN, you'd be able to raise it to 210, 5%, so 10 units greater, or lower it to 190, 5%, 10 units less. 
but once you've confirmed the shipping plan uh, and the shipments are in place, those are the restrictions that are put on you. Versus a shipping plan, you can change it up however you see fit. You can remove SKUs, add SKUs, and that's the way it works. Enough said, let's get into some products. That being said, we're now going to take some of the products I have here, which we also have in our warehouse, because not only am I gonna be creating the shipment with you here on screen, I are gonna show you downstairs the preparation, labeling, and the full operation processes of handling a outbound shipment.